Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 series of the Bleachers to the Fence Sheriff's Department, where today we are back here in the cistern as we need to go and report all the things we've learned in the last two episodes to the Sheriff for the Troubled Waters at Home mission, and I'm excited to see where this goes. I've very much been happy with this mission so far because we've learned a lot about what all's been going on between the Sheriff's Department and the Gunners, especially last episode with all that info Lily was telling me that was just great. I loved that story. And I'm intrigued to see if we'll find out more from the sheriff. And at the very least, I mean, we need to tell her that that one poor person who uh, did do the stuff to the cistern was coerced into it, well, forced, uh, by the gunners. So, you know, hopefully she doesn't kill them. But we'll see how all that goes. I am excited to check it out. And hopefully, maybe the good doctor will have a solution for for the water situation that would be great but uh yeah let's head on down here and find out we're back sheriff yo i can see that how's the water doing hopefully well I returned already with the treatment we should oh, good. be operating at full capacity sometime tomorrow wonderful Crisis averted oh good job doctor grenshaw returned with the treatment the doctor is flushing the system now to make sure all traces of the herbicide are removed excellent report what did you two find out there? Oh, so many things. So, cover a holotape. Lily has it. Seems to be targeting the department. There are more gunners involved in this. Ooh, I like that one. I mean, the holotape one's good, but there are more gunners involved in this. I like that one. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's already kind of... I'll, I'll go with this one. This wasn't random. They kidnapped Hewitt for his card, which I'm still going with. You should have deactivated his card after you knew he was dead. The hell. Basic security, people. But we'll click we that. We were operating under that assumption, yes. Uh-huh. That's why we sent Lily to the location. No, yeah, I mean, that's fair. That's that's fair, Sheriff. You at least heard that. You at least know that. <laughs> but yes, the gunners are involved. I assume they were operating under orders. What did you find by Fort Independence? Turns out, the gunners were operating out of my friend's house. He saw most of it. We iced the gunners for him, and he was more than happy to help. So much for fact-finding. Koda was pretty upset, Sheriff. He wasn't going to tell us nothing until he got his house back. Mm -hmm. Part of the intel was locked up in his head. I see. So what facts did you find? We got this holotape with the CEO's journal on it. Koda said they took Hewitt alive and were talking about working for someone else. Which, you know... I mean, gunners do. They do. But we went through their terminal after we iced them to have a look. And this seems to be a gunner operation. I mean, nobody hired him to kidnap Hewitt. They're doing this themselves. For vengeance. Continue. Kuda said he was afraid to come forward because he had no backup out there. And I gotta admit, he is alone out there. It makes him a great victim. Basically, he said he'd agree to be our eyes and ears out there if the scouts stop by and have a few beers with him on their patrol. And you gotta know. Kuda said whoever spiked the water here was forced under the threat of having his daughter killed. Mm hmm So once you do find out who it was, keep that under consideration when figuring out what to do with them. Good work. And the gunners? Oh, yeah. Almost forgot about them. Duh, Lily. Indeed, uh, duh. Uh, where were we? Oh, yeah. So you'll see on this guy's journal he talks about the Vola and the gunner Crenshaw whacked in Vault 75 being officers for this operation of theirs. Turns out, the ones in the vault were tasked with kidnapping random schlubs for the Institute as a revenue stream to fund this whole thing. Yep, we found that out a while ago. My friend's house were in charge of poisoning the cistern. They succeeded and were set to leave tomorrow. So we headed back to Hub City where Devola lost his head and looked for intel. Good times. Because nobody told my sidekick here to look for it the first time. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you were smart enough to do so, Lily. Someone had been by to clean up the bodies. So that place ain't fully abandoned. They definitely took anything of value out of there, though. But they left Oaks's FSD brooch behind. Oh, was that what that brooch Remember was? The okay. the calling card put on Devola's body? It was wired to blow, of course. But what was really interesting is that it was hanging from a noose, Sheriff. A noose. You know what that probably means. Mm -hmm. It would seem the gunners need to be taught a new lesson. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So what's the next step? 
For you, nothing. Oh. Thanks to you two, we have a significant amount of intel that needs analyzing before we can act on it. I mean, that's fair. But there is a pressing matter that we could use your friend's help with. Ooh. Lieutenant Dan is waiting for you in the conference area. Lieutenant Dan? He'll have your payment. There is also another matter we could use your help with. Oh, the multiple lieutenant things. will have the details, but briefly, there's a loose end regarding the Gunner Institute link you uncovered. Ah. We'd like to fix it. Got it. Okay, okay, go talk to Lieutenant Dan for our payment next job. Sweet, he's gonna be all the way at the Sheriff's Department, isn't he? Would it be quicker to fast travel to the- Oh, God, the, the map broke again. Oh. <laughs> Would it be faster to, like, travel back to the... Granted, not with the map as it is right now. Okay, never mind, let's uh, go back out the tunnel this way. And, you know, I'm thinking that, uh... Eh, probably it's just going to be fine to go this direction. Be a few loading screens, but it shouldn't be too bad. Well, you know, unless Lieutenant Dan's at home? Does he live over here in Wrightfield? I have no idea what time it is in the game world right now. <laughs> Maybe he's off duty. That could be good. He's not. He's going to be in the he's going to be in the office, isn't he? Yep, 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 yep. Well, I'm through the other loading scene. Map still borked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it'll be quicker to go through here because we're still going to have to go through the access tunnel after this, then the the um, the workshop area where they're making all the cloth to then get into, well, no, I actually think it'll be about the same. Yeah, I think it'll be about the same considering, you know, we're going to have to fast travel, which is going to be a loading screen, then have to go through the front door of the sheriff's department. So I think it'll be roughly about the same. So what the hell? Over in the right field. Wait. No, it probably would have been quicker to fast travel because I forgot about Slocum Joe's. Ah. Oh. oh, well. <laughs> At this point, it's now going to be the same because I'd have to go back through that door since I can't fast travel in here. <laughs> oh, well. Hopefully the loading screens aren't too bad because I did come through this direction uh, before starting the episode. Because uh, I didn't know where the sheriff was going to be. I figured she might be in the uh, the actual main sheriff's department area. But nope, she was down in the cistern. So yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to be too bad on the loading scenes. Wonderful. Into the access tunnel. Oh my god, I wish there wasn't so many loading doors in this area. <laughs> There's just so many of them. Okay. I also never understand when we have places like this. Just Why isn't this just part of Slocum Joe's? Eh, yeah. right. Because, I mean, it's literally just a tunnel we go through. I mean, there's a door out to the fens, I guess, but other than that, it's literally just a tunnel. But, oh well. In to the factory floor. Ooh, uh-oh. Oh, oh we're good. <laughs> uh, the game was going to break on me there for a moment. You, sir. Sarge, what happened to all your armor? What? Oh, poor Sarge. <laughs> what happened to all of his armor? Oh, no. <laughs> something something bad must have happened while we were gone. <laughs> oh, where's all of his cool gear? Oh, poor Sarge. A man's been through so much, and then someone either breaks or steals his armor pieces for his power armor. That's just... That's just rude. At least he still has his helmet, at least. The hell was going on with that, though? <laughs> I was thinking maybe he was, like, outside and they all got shot off and damaged, but... No, he never goes outside, does he? He stays around here. Oh, hi, Dan! Okay, cool. We're here. Wonderful. Hi, Lieutenant Dan. Excuse me. Lily's sidekick. Die! She is my sidekick! Get some rest first, then come see me about an important mission related to your Vault 75 intel. Wait, seriously? Do I, do I have to wait? Am I gonna have to wait, or can I just talk to him now? Uh, what's the new mission we're getting here? The shoe is on the other hand now? Huh? Why is it called the shoe is on the other hand? <laughs> okay, cool. It doesn't look like we actually have to wait and rest. We can just, just go straight talk to him. Wonderful. Though, that being said... This might be a perfect time to walk away from the sheriff's department for a bit. To go and check out the Manhattan Project. 
I've been holding off on it because I've been thinking that maybe eventually our quests here will lead us to there. Uh, but, you know, we learned about it. We've got this waypoint here. And Lily did say on multiple conversations we had with people, Hey, we should go check that place out. So I'm thinking maybe we should just go and check it out and hold off on stuff with the Sheriff's Department for a while. We have been doing a lot with them recently. And I would like to see this Manhattan Project. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Screw it. Lieutenant Dan, sorry, buddy, but we're going to leave for a while. Yes? You did say to get some rest, so for me, I'm going to take that as, a, as go to a bar. Also, why is that bounty head floating? And why is it steel? Weird. Out we go. Uh, be between that and the Sarge's armor, I think something's gone wrong. <laughs> I think something's gone terribly wrong. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's not good. But yeah, let's go to the Manhattan Project. I've been wanting to go there for a while now, but yeah, I've been putting it off, cause I'm thinking that at some point maybe the quest will take me there naturally. But I don't know if that is actually ever going to happen. So what the hell, let's go check it out on our own. See what the place is like. And I'm, a, I'm sure they'll probably have some quest for us there too. They'll need something. But mainly, I just want to check the place out, have a little chat with anyone who's there, maybe get some uh, nice story about what the Manhattan Project's all about. Yeah, that sounds perfect. Wonderful. Now the question is, do we walk over there or fast travel? It shouldn't be too far, but... Fast travel would probably be the better way to go. Hmm... Well, we'll find out momentarily. Once we're back in, I need to check the map again just to double check how far away it is. I don't imagine it's too far. Considering. Okay, so first turn that off. I don't need that waypoint messing with me. Alright, now that's a little bit further than I was thinking. Okay, so Harbor Master Hotel. Yeah, we'll go there and then right over to the Manhattan, uh, Manhattan Project. Sweet. All right. Yeah, I'm excited to go check this place out. We, we've heard lots of things, so I'm very intrigued. And boy, howdy, we've got the D&D &D set up there again now. <laughs> I'm very interested if we're going to be playing a tabletop game at some point with the people in this in this mod, considering we've seen this now a few times. <laughs> I mean, look at that. They've got, they, got all, they got all the fun gaming dice. Ah. Oh. For some reason, some origami in there. I'm still confused by the orange with a choker on it. Huh. It was the thing in the back. The weird... Is it like a weird glass blob or something? I have no idea. Hearing shit. Oh, hi, Raider! Oh, well, you're dead. Oh, Lily, maybe you should shoot someone instead of just saying, you know, saying things. I'm out. Got something in my eye. <laughs> I don't think they're going to wait for something in your eye, Lily. Alright, we'll take that. Screw the rest. I'm out. There's some more people around, but I don't care. They're up. Alright, and there is our Project Manhattan. Sweet. Alright, gun can go away now. Oh, right on the water. It's a lovely locale. You know, great, great uh, waterfront views. <laughs> Alright. We've discovered it. Anyone outside? I kind of doubt it. Nope! Oh, who's shooting me? That asshole? Yep, it's that asshole. Yep. Boom! Boom. Nope. There we go. He's dead now. There's another one up there somewhere, but... Don't see him. Sweet. Reload. Neat. I like the building, though, here. I like the building. Let's head on inside and check it out. It's, uh, what time during the day? 4 a.m. I'm sure it'll be a swinging hour for a bar. <laughs> Actually, that's like, oh, that's way past the swinging hour for a bar. That's the time where you start heading home and go, oh, I've made mistakes. <laughs> yeah. If you're in a bar at this time of, at this time of the morning, ooh, you've, you've made some choices. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been in a bar at that time of the the, uh, the day where it wasn't a mistake later. <laughs> it's like, why? Why am I still here? I should have gone home and gone to bed a long time ago. 
Uh, but what do we got? Oh, hi! Person running towards me. Or away. Those are some creepy and lifelike mannequins that look like my character and are worrisome. Hi, Shelly. I, I'm worried about... Are those real people in there you've embalmed or... Mm. <clears throat> hey, Scava. Let's trade. Oh, you're just a trader, huh? Okay, well, let's check out what you I'll got, Shelly. Sure. Oh, my God. Yeah, all the... All the... All the... All the mannequins that look real really creep me out. What the hell? Is there a dress code in here? Are we going to have to put on something? Are we going to have to put on something nice? I'm going to try getting in without it. Uh, might also be time of day. Maybe. Oh, hello. Snuggles. <clears throat> nah, he doesn't care. <laughs> I have a feeling we're not here at uh, the correct time of day, so we just have all the creepy, very lifelike mannequins uh, that are horrifying. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I did forget that uh, they were saying that they make the clothes with the fabric from the sheriff's department. Oh, hello, who are you? Right here. Uh huh, hi, hi, Sean. Hey, what's new? Anything been happening around here? Nothing you'd be interested in. Now, I got merchandise to move here if you're still buying. I mean, I certainly am, Barter. I've got a few minutes to browse. So he's just the food. Got it, got it, got it. It's got some other things too, some other ammo, but mostly, mostly just food items. Got it. Nothing of value though for us. So man, yeah, I'm thinking maybe we can't do anything here yet. Shelly, I'm gonna talk to you again. No, no, you're walking away. Yeah, she's she's running to the back. Bye, Shelly. Can I go up here? Hello, Tails. Hey. So we got snuggles and tails, huh? Ooh, who's over here? Yeah. Hello, Meg. Huh? No, nope, Meg won't talk. Yeah. Ooh. Hello there. Roy G. Biv. Oh, neat. Made up. That's because it is. How may I be of service? Uh, well, you don't actually seem How to. Can I see you without uh huh. Eyes? Well, it's very easy. I just. I just, well, I just can. Okay, Roy G. Biv doesn't actually do anything for us. Okay, got it. Donna? Yes. No, okay. Oh, there's another floor there. Well, let's talk to some other people, see if any of them are actually yes. talkable. Hey. Sal? Huh? Nope. Oh, dude in the corner with the, oh God, I can't squeeze past her. Huh? Bard me, folks. Yes. Bob? Yeah. Nope. Yes. All right, bartender should have some things. Hi, Sora. Excuse me. Hey there, stranger. What up? Welcome to the Manhattan Project. That's not mildew you smell. What can I do for you? <laughs> okay, so it's hey, definitely Zora, mildew we smell. How's it going? Oh, hi, Lily. I'm no see. Oh, hey, Lily. Oh, there she is again. It really has been a while since the place in Concord, right? Place in Concord. Who brings you out here? Luna told me about your new place. Cricket said it was like being on drugs, and she'd know. <laughs> They're right. This place is something else. It's pretty neat. I like it. I heard Gary's planning on a poetry reading night here soon. He oh, is. God, Gary. I can't wait. You have to come, too. That ain't all Luna's fabric I'm seeing down there. You find another supplier? A second supplier, not an other one. I'm still buying from Luna. Do me a favor and don't tell her, okay? She gives me the friends and family discount. Who else would be I making fabric here? It. Luna can't keep up with demand from Becky and Lucas. Cricket's bugging her for ballistic grade stuff now. Mm -hmm. She's got all the business she can handle. Well, that's a relief. I still want to buy her fabric too. Who's the other supplier though? So, can I ask you some questions? Well, what do you want to know? So many things. Ah, uh, nice place to me. It is a very nice place, and man, I like it. If you mean the building, this place was a bar before the war. Had to fix a lot of it up and pay to get a purifier installed, but uh -huh. it came out nice. You know, it, it did. I like no it. No rent. No landlord. No lease. Nice. It's amazing what a broom, soap, and some elbow grease can do. You'd think Diamond City would have figured that out. God, I know, right? Now, I suppose you mean the staff. Good advertising, right? Sis's idea. Who's really this? fills the place up on a weekend night during live shows. Don't get any ideas, though. No touching. 
Right. This ain't a brothel. Fair. I got a gun right where I can reach it. Yeah, I know. There's so two of them. the rest of us. Okay. So, what's the story with this place? Pretty impressive, huh? Mm -hmm. Where else are you going to find the clean water and clean clothes outside of the bleachers these days? Here, apparently. After we got kicked out of Diamond City, the three of us moved to Concord. It wasn't quite as lucrative as Diamond City, until we met some traders. As fortune would have it, we met them first because they were coming from way the holy fucking hell up north looking to offload their goods. Oh, so that's probably where you get the other they fabric. They were selling the next best thing to toilet paper. Fashion fabric from a warehouse far enough north that it never got rad moth damage. Oh, okay. I mean, that makes more sense. what you want about the Fens Sheriff's Department fabric. It's great. It's new. It's functional. But it's not going to turn any heads. <laughs> no sequins or rhinestones, if you know what I mean. Anyway... My sister with her sewing skills and oh, brain, that's her sister. Okay. She saw pure caps, though. Took everything we had, but we bought them out then and there. Cool. We set up a deal with them, too. We take the time to meet them a few days to the north to save them some walking, and they sell exclusively to us. I took a browning to the nasties in this place, and we opened shop. Sis is the brains and makes the clothes. Bro makes the food. Ah, okay. And me... I use hot lead to turn your head into a canoe if you get out of line. Get it. It wouldn't be the ninth time. Blood hardly shows with this carpet. I like her. <laughs> Wait, why'd you turn away? No, I had more talking. There was another thing. Hi. So that's and their other I vendor, though. You. I was about, I was wondering, you know, if there was someone else making cloth, but no, well, it's pre-war stuff. What do you want to know? Got it, got it, got it. So there's one more thing here. How'd you end up in here? Those are my brother and sister downstairs. Uh-huh. We're Diamond City Exports. My brother cooked at the dugout inn, and Sis worked for Becky Fallon. Oh, yeah, I remember hearing Me? about that a while back. I was a guard until I broke Danny Sullivan's nose for putting his hand on my ass and giving his opinion of it. <laughs> McDonough Good being McDonough tried to do the same thing when I complained, so I broke his fat nose, too. I like her Thus more now. Thus endeth our stay in Diamond City. Noise. We moved to Concord soon after that and made do with what skills we had until we came across this business opportunity. All right. Well, apparently that's enough. That's all the questions I've got. Uh, she does apparently have a quest, but I'm going to go explore Suit her building yourself. a little bit more first before I ask about that. But first, any rumors? If that swill is the best the Bobrovs can do, it's no wonder that dump is nearly abandoned. Ah, cool. Well, that's all for now. Okay, but the water doesn't purify itself, and the staff doesn't pay itself. Think about buying something. You know, that's fair, Sora. That's fair. I like you. You're fun. Okay, so let's check upstairs. I really do like this place, though. It actually kind of reminds me of a, a bar I used to go to many years back. Neat. You know, it's upstairs. <laughs> oh, VIP. Oh, inaccessible. Oh, oh, I could glimpse upon the VIP glory through the colored windows. All right, well, now we go check out the quest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do they got? Pardon me, pardon me, coming what through. Hello again, Sora. You know, I kind of wish you were a bartender, too, who actually sold some drinks instead of having to go downstairs to your brother. But got any work? Can't say I do right now. Oh, dang. We're doing pretty well for ourselves out here. And our private staff can handle the odd jobs I have. Ah, fair. Oh, well, now I can ask what she's got for sale. Okay. Aw, I was hoping she'd have a My quest. My drinks will put some hair on your chest. Nice. If you're into that sort of thing. One of the bouncers is. I know. Weird, right? <laughs> <laughs> I like this Sora character. She's got a hunting rifle, your usual drinks. Manhattan, nice, nice, and got a martini in there too. Oh, lovely. Oh, you know, I'm gonna buy one just cause, just cause, you know. Don't buy a martini too. <laughs> she, she was right, you know. Can't just uh, stand around. You gotta, gotta pay for things at the bar so she can pay her staff. So I'll buy myself a Manhattan and a martini. I haven't had either of those IRL in quite some time. So, bye. Yep. Nope. Oh, no, I didn't mean. To, uh, whoops. Okay, accept. Confirm trade. I'm out. Thank you, Sora. 
And doo -doo -doo -doo, let's go down. Oh, you look at that? Lovely. Little Manhattan. Color disappears when you tilt it that way, but okay. <laughs> and then our martini. Lovely. Oh, man. Yeah, I haven't had a martini in a while. Oh, I love a good dry martini. Okay, well. And there we go. Why did we get bottle caps from those? <laughs> Why did we get bottle caps from drinking a martini? I'm confused, but oh well. All right, well, that seems to be it for this place for now. I am sure that this will lead us to a quest at some point. Uh, but for the time being, it's just a nifty spot with a couple of vendors and a great atmosphere. So I think that's going to be a good place for us to actually end today. I'll get us back off camera to the, uh, to the sheriff's department. So we'll go back and talk with Lieutenant Dan and get everything sorted for next time. But uh, that's going to be it for today. Hopefully you all have enjoyed and you do come back for the next one. Until that time, thank you for watching as always. Well, have a good one.